Former Exxon Mobil CEO Rex Tillerson was pressed by senators during his confirmation hearing on Capitol Hill Wednesday. So far, Chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Bob Corker, has announced his support, saying he believes in Tillerson's potential to be an outstanding Secretary of State. One America's John Hines has that story from Washington. Although he received tough questions from several members of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson seems to have used the right approach with committee members, according to Chairman Bob Corker. I think uh, Mr. Tillerson, uh, especially for someone who's come from a totally different world, has not been involved you know, on a day-to-day -day basis in hearings like this every day for a decade, um, I think he's handled himself well. And that different world involves business, and one of the State Department's functions is to help support American businesses, says Senate Foreign Relations Committee member Jim Rich. The State Department is very helpful uh, to businesses in America. As we try to do more commerce, as we try to do more trade, it is, it is important and frequently necessary uh, for the State Department to become involved in uh, American companies attempting to succeed in other countries. So he understands that. He's a business guy. He gets it. And, uh, and, and I'm glad to see that. He gets it. And that just may be the key to success leading a huge multinational corporation which in turn appears to have prepared Tillerson to lead the State Department, says Rich. I watched uh, uh, Mr. Tillerson as he went through this, and uh, he looks like a Secretary of State sitting there, and he's conducting himself like a Secretary of State. Uh, is, he, is he qualified? Oh, I don't think there's any question about that. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about that. I, you know, he's got a learning curve with, uh, uh, with uh, there's 200 countries in this world, and every single one of them is very unique. But it appears to be he's a quick study, and being the CEO of a company with 70 thousand people with operations all over the globe. He's up to this. While Tillerson's approval is not a done deal, Republicans on the committee appear confident of his imminent confirmation soon after Donald Trump's inauguration. John Hines, One American News, Washington.